So far, we have not done any changes in the React app which we have created. So in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's write some React code. So what I'm going to do is, from within this source folder, I'm going to delete all these files. Okay, so all the files which we have in this source folder, I'm going to delete it. And now inside this source folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it index.js. So if you remember, in the last lecture, we learned that this index.js file is the entry point of a React application. Now in this index.js file, we need to import couple of objects from React module. So first, we want to import React object from React module. Let's also import React DOM from React hyphen DOM. All right. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create an element. So for that, I'm first going to create a variable using this const keyword. Let's call this header. And to this variable, I'm going to assign a JSX expression. So here I'm going to create one H1 element. And inside this, let's say this is my first React app. Okay, so remember that this is a JSX expression. It is not HTML, it is JSX, JavaScript XML. Okay, now if you remember in the last lecture, I told you that this JSX expression when it will be compiled by Babel, it will make a call to react.create element. So basically, behind the scenes, this react.create element method will be called. And this is the reason why we have imported this react object at the top, even though we are not going to use this object directly in this file. But when our code will be compiled, when this JSX expression will be compiled, it will make a call to react.create element. So here, since we have a reference to this react object, when the code is compiled, that's why we have to import this react object at the top so that we don't get any compilation error. All right, so I will remove this. And now let's go ahead and let's log this header and let's see what it stores. So here, let's say console.log and we want to log header. Now, there is one thing which you need to know about the projects that are created using create react app tool. Whenever we save the changes in our project, it is automatically going to restart the react app. So you don't have to go back in the browser and refresh the app to see the changes. And this is what we call as hot module reloading. So let's open browser and let's go to our react app. So you will notice that now this app is blank because we have removed all the files from this source folder. Now here, let's go ahead and let's open developer console. Okay, and you will notice that here an object has been logged. And this object is the output of a JSX expression. This object is a React element. If I expand this object, you will notice that the type of this object, the type property of this object is set to h1 and here we also have a bunch of other properties okay now one thing which you need to remember here is that this object this react element which you see here this is part of virtual dome virtual dome is a lightweight in-memory representation of ui it's not the real browser's dome it's the virtual dome so whenever the state of this object will change react will get a new react element then React will compare this new element with the previous element and it will figure out what has changed and then it will reach out to the real DOM and update it accordingly. Okay, so here we have this JSX expression which is part of virtual DOM and now we want to render it in the real DOM. That means we want to render it in the browser's DOM and to do that, let me comment this console.log statement here. So to do that, in this React DOM object, we have a render method. 
and this render method renders an element from the virtual DOM in the real DOM. So the first argument of this render method is the element which we want to render. So here we want to render this header. Then we also need to specify where do we want to render this element. So we need to pass it as the second argument to this render method. Now here we want to render this element. So if I go to index.html here, in this index.html, we have this div. So if you remember in the last lecture, I told you that this div is going to act as a container. So here we want to display this header element. That means this h1 element inside this div. Okay. So first we need to get access to this div element and we can do that by using plain JavaScript and by using the ID of this div. So as the second argument to this render method, let's say document dot get element by ID. And to this get element by ID, let's pass the ID of that div, which is root. And that's it. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the browser. And here you will notice that that h1 element has been rendered in the DOM. Now here, let's go to this element tab. Let's expand this body. Here we have this div and inside this div we have this h1 element. So as I mentioned, this h1 element has been rendered within this div, the div with this id root. Okay, so here this is a very simple example, but in real world applications, we render our app component. Currently, we don't have that app component in our project because we have deleted it, right? So currently in this source folder, we only have index.js file. We don't have any app component. But in real world applications, we always have an app component which acts as a root component of our React application. And this app component can also include children components like header, navigation bar, sidebar, etc. So in this way, we will have a tree of components which will eventually produce a complex but well-structured UI. And we are going to do it step by step in this course. 